Wow, that's loud. Today, we're gonna put on these Hella dual tone horns with wiring harness. Probably throwing them on about somewhere about here. Now that way it tucks behind this plastic section of the grill here. Uh, my wife is just going to paint the black parts of the grill, more black, because they're a little bit chipped up before we put it back on. So this is the horn, the current horn here. So I'll honk it. And that's this little guy right here. These wires back here would be how the switch in the on the steering wheel turns on the horns. And I need to tap into that using this connection here on the wiring harness. I've already tested the horns by just connecting them directly to the battery using the wiring harness uh, here. And that was just positive and negative to uh, the positive and negative leads on the back of the horns uh, here. And sure enough, they both went off and they're pretty loud. So with this being the horn, uh, I'm gonna try and just unbolt it here to access the wires and just see what's behind it. I'm using a 12 millimeter socket. So it turns out these little plug connectors fit right in there, which this is where the old horn was attached. What I'm gonna do now, disconnect the battery, and I'm gonna try and wire up the harness as if everything's connected to see if it works before installing it on the vehicle. I found this ground behind the negative battery terminal, just up here that connects to the frame. I'm gonna try and tap into that with the uh, negative ground terminal there since everything's, it's kind of a shorter cable. Uh, these two guys here connect to the horns themselves and this goes to the positive battery terminal. Okay, let's test out how loud these things are. <laughs> Jesus, okay. So it works. Now we're just gonna have to uh, mount the horns, keep the wires the exact same way that they are, and uh, we're in business. I'm going to connect or just mount the relay uh, on the same bolt. So that bolt right there, where the other two relays are attached for the headlights. So I'm gonna just tap into that. And that bolt is a 10 millimeter. So the plan is to run all three wires, the one that connects to the stock horn wire here, and behind the washer fluid reservoir, this is the connection to the passenger side headlight, around in front that way, to come out this hole in order to connect to the two horns, we're gonna just mount them here use this old hole here for this horn which has the shorter cable on it keeping in mind uh, to not block off this area or there's another little square guy right down in there um, for the protrusions in the grill I'm gonna drill a hole roughly about here I have this bolt down here with a nut on the end that I'm gonna use to mount the second horn that's attached to the longer wire I'm gonna move the washer fluid reservoir off just so I don't puncture it with the drill. That way I can also access the back end of that bolt to put the second horn on. We bolted the bottom horn here. This is sort of the setup for the horns. Uh, the horns are connected. Now we're gonna test out our entire electrical setup. High beams? High beams working, yep. Try the horn. Eh, wow, everything works. Okay, so it's now time to throw the grill back on the Yoda. So folks, that's it. LEDs, horns nice and tucked behind this panel right there. You can just see the red. New grill, all nice and painted up. It's not new, it's the old grill painted up. 
Wow, that's loud. Look at the family of deer. Here's the new really painted up grill. Toyota. Ah. Ooh.